there are only a few things that can claim to be uniquely American. The sport of baseball. The iconic melodies of jazz. And one of America's most alluring commodities, bourbon. This is the story of the nearly $9 billion industry built around this legendary spirit, why the industry is currently booming, and what and who you should know if you're thinking of investing in the business of bourbon. Bourbon found me, I didn't find bourbon. So I just happened to fall into it and it worked. It's not like I was this big lover of bourbon or I had this palate that could figure out mash bills or anything like that or that I even knew how bourbon was made. People just kept asking me to find them things, barrels or aged material or whiskey or scotch and it just continued. I ended up helping a Bardstown Bourbon Company, which is now only four years old. Because of that, meet all the other distillery owners and distillery principals and just kind of morphed into what it is. And for Jeff Hopmayer, what it is today is the extremely successful Brindiamo Group, a company Jeff founded in 2012 and through which he has gained unusual access to the bourbon industry. Jeff's timing was impeccable because he got in just as bourbon was beginning an unparalleled boom. Consumers are paying on average $44 for a bottle of bourbon at retail, and some special whiskeys have sold on the resale market for up to $1 million for a single bottle. This remarkable growth has been fueled by several factors, despite having to contend with the complicated three-tier system the United States established after the repeal of Prohibition. Depending on how far and wide you want to spread your wings, uh, it gets super complex really quickly. But within that, the U.S. is by far the most complex um, country, and that's because we live under the three-tier system. So. Um, a producer of alcohol has to sell to a distributor who has to sell to a retailer and only the retailer can sell to a consumer. Those laws are different in every state. So if you want to sell in more than one state, you're dealing with more than one set of regulations. Some call the three-tier system clandestine and impenetrable. All acknowledge it's one of the many challenges in the bourbon industry. While creativity and enthusiasm are in no short supply, don't think investing in bourbon is an easy process with a guarantee of success. Just like most investments, it can carry a high degree of risk. Your first love, all gaga and romantic about what the business is about. But very quickly I learned that it's a really multifaceted, complicated business. Yeah, it's, this is an extremely complicated business, and had I truly understood how complicated it is I, I, and how difficult it would be in order to make this dream a reality, I'm not sure if I would have set out on the path. But I tell people, if you don't have deep pockets and big balls, you probably shouldn't be in this industry. This is, a, this is if you have no patience, you have no business being in, in the bourbon business. People come in and think they can buy their way into it, and that's not really the, the, the way it really works. You can buy your way into owning barrels, you can buy your way into owning a distillery, you can buy your way into owning a brand, but it, 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 it takes something more. It takes a lot of heart that you have to pour into this 